Hello, and welcome back to Bite-Sized Neo4j for Data Scientists. This is part 23 in our series, or part 5 in our series within a series comparing SQL and Neo4j. Today, we're finally getting to that page rank calculation, which I've been hinting at for a few weeks. But before we get started, I want to wish a Happy New Year to those celebrating. Please forgive my pronunciation. Xing Chung Kui Le. So my name is Claire Sullivan. I'm a data science advocate at Neo4j, and here's how you can find me on the internet. As usual, here are the links within our series. The first is how to create a free sandbox instance. The second is where you can find all the previous videos, and the final is the repository with all the code. Now, like I said, we're going to do page rank today, and page rank is a measure of centrality, so how important any given node is. And it's based on the degree and the importance of the nodes pointing at any other node. Here, you can read about it on Wikipedia at the bottom. Now, I want to give credit where credit is due. This Stack Overflow link at the bottom here um, is what I have basically uh, made my query off of. It uses T-SQL. I'm going to use Postgres, so I've modified the query to work in Postgres, but you know, whatever floats your boat here. Um, we're going to use this very simple graph at the top. Okay, We just have four nodes. Um, we're not even going to use our airport graph today. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you what the query is in um, Postgres using pgadmin here. And first, we're just setting up our graph. OK, that's all that's happening here. Um, and then we're computing the out degree for every node within the graph. OK, now um, page rank is an iterative calculation. And we're going to start with an initial value that we then iterate upon. The initial value is based on some parameters. For instance, I have um, this parameter alpha, which is called my damping factor. You can go look up the math on that Wikipedia page. Um, and then I also look at how many nodes are within my graph. Um, and so I set my initial value here in line 61 based 1 minus alpha divided by the number of nodes. So we're just going to set every node to that initial page rank, um, and it's all good. Now, here we get into the iteration. So what I'm saying here is we're going to use an iteration of less than 20 steps. Um, and then we are going to just update continuously every step the page rank associated with every node. So you can see it's based off of the previous page rank times that alpha factor and divided by the out degree of the node. And then we're adding on that initial page rank value. OK, so let's give this a quick run. OK, and what we see here, we can see our different values of page rank calculated for every node. Cool. OK, and again, this query is all within the repository. Now, I have that same graph loaded into Neo4j, and that's using the part23.cql file um, within the Cypher queries directory. Let's just take a quick view of it. OK, so let's just run that command. OK, so I can see I've got my four nodes, and they're connected to each other with the relationships that we had on the slide. OK, cool. Now, let's first thing we have to do, page rank is included in the graph data science library. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a graph projection within that library. And this is how we do it. OK, this GDS graph create. And um, by the way, I have previous videos on how to do this. So if this is new to you, go check those out. Um, I'm giving it a name. My, my projected graph is called test. I'm saying take every node within the graph and every edge within the graph. So this is like the most basic of all graph prediction queries. OK, so this is one of the great things about live code. I'm just going to call this something else really fast. We're going to call this test2. OK, let's run test two. And now I have my graph projection. All right, cool. So um, that error came up because I had not dropped the graph from when I was previously using it. I was trying to create a graph with the very same name. OK, so now here's how we're going to run PageRank. I'm going to change that to test two. This is the GDS algorithm, PageRank. And this dot stream here means we're just going to output this um, the results to the screen. Now, in order to get um, my uh, my page ranks on the same scale, I'm using this L1 norm. So this is going to keep it on the same scale as the SQL query. But there's all kinds of other scaling functions within there as well. I'm going to return my nodes. And um, this, again, I recommend you go watch the previous video. Um, we're returning a node in an ID space that doesn't really correspond to anything we would recognize. But I'm going to convert it to our names N0 through N3 with this line. Let's give that a run. OK, and if you were to compare this to our previous values that we obtained with SQL, it's within the noise. Um, so the, you know, the thing I want to point out here, you know, we had 102 lines worth of query on SQL, and here we have four. 
Um, so this is a much more simple query. Um, and you know, this is just something to keep in mind is that you want to use the right tool for the question. SQL is not the right tool always to answer a graph question, actually, frequently. It's not. Um, PageRank, I hope you've taken away from it how much simpler it is to do in a graph database because the graph database is the right tool. So I just want to say thank you again for tuning in. If you have suggestions for future videos, please let me know on Twitter, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.